Well, welcome back. This is my new little toy. I just charged it up, brought it out here, and the battery died on it. I'm going to try to take what video it did take and upload it to this video. But, main line's working again. Trains are running around just fine. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing quite a bit of work. I decided to switch back to the spray foam just because it's easier to work with and I can fill gaps with it a lot easier than this. But I still have plenty of this left, so I'm going to use it in spots. Um, yeah, it really ain't much more to say besides it's going to be up more permanently now. I did find that I do have a problem in this back corner where I'm going to have to replace this flex track in this corner because that kink is no good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split off of that and just uh put a new piece in and solder to it other than that the rest of this track is going the way i want it to go my roundhouse is installed but i'm going to be moving that i am going to be backdating the layout to the 1930s so some of what I've got is actually going to be put up for sale and that'll be on Facebook Marketplace. I will not ship, I am sorry. So anybody that's local or feels like making the trip, I'll have it up. And it'll probably be a few more weeks. All the turnouts that I am replacing are already spoken for. We got a boy getting back into the hobby after a few years off that got in contact me, with me through Facebook. So, yeah, the Chessie Systems F unit I'm keeping, even though it's going to be out of the time frame. But I will be putting up quite a few locomotives and cars that I bought for the 1970s as I'm backdating it that far. So you're going to see a lot of old-time equipment coming in. And uh, just enjoy what you're going to get for the next little bit. So it will be steam era. It will be year one of the S SW units, which would be the SW 600s. Now, in order for me to switch my 1200s to a 600, the only thing I need to do is pull off that front exhaust. That's it. That's really the only major body change to that in order to make it look right. But as you can see, trains are running good i've got more work to do scenery work is actually starting i've got to fill that gap there but that's because this mountain decided to fall through to the floor and i had to pick it back up while the foam was still expanding and retape it um madison's fuels is still going there i'll still have a fuel depot um the coal mine is sitting right where that pink foam is power plant in that corner and a long spur up we got lowry's lumber there we got beecham's feed and seed on the other side of that hill um and i might even pull one or two of these yard tracks up and make my yard a little bit more compressed for what i really need to do the turntable will be moved back by about six to eight inches and the roundhouse will be pulled more towards me just for the simple fact is i need to make an area here which is why that turnout's sitting there because i need that to have servicing for steam engines here this is frederick yard this is south frederick this is all actually south of frederick that's to Fred, uh, Frederick, or wait a minute, yeah, that's to Frederick, and that spur going off the back there, that's the point of Rocks, Maryland. As we turn around, so that'll go to Frederick, Hanover, and everything north. This is going west to the coal mine. So you'd have to go all the way around past Lowry's Lumber the first time and 
I can't remember the name of the town. I have it typed up. I just haven't put the tag on there. And that would be one stop. And then you roll through. And that's the spur to Seneca when you're going east, not west. You come back up and through over the Monocacy River again. Up and over to Hancock, Maryland. Now when you're in Hancock, you have a mine to switch. You have um, Beecham's Feed and Seed. And you still have Madison's Fuels. So, yes. The siding's kind of long, but I like that. I will be putting a station in probably up in this area where the town will be. And the town will have two names. So, I'm just going to skip right back to Frederick instead of taking you back east on the west run. And we're going to skip back to Frederick here. And now we are going to go southeast. Which we cross the Monocacy River come on around through another town that I can't remember the name of sorry and then come back through and work this town which has another name I think it would be Seneca or something here you take your spur up to get to the power plant you go in behind the ridge come up and around to the power plant. The power plant has a long spur backwards. So you got to pull in here with cars behind you and place them in front of you and push them back that long spur. You still have Lowry's Lumber to switch out. And once you get that done, you're coming back and through and all the way back and over, back through towns, all the way back to Frederick. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do these uh, jobs. And right now I have one four four zero that you know of, and I have one two six zero. I will be buying more steam engines if I can get around to it, and I think I can find an older Bachman zero six zero, an older Bachman steam locomotives with the uh, big can motors and actual brushes. I will be buying them. All right, so if you know anybody that wants to sell any, point them my way. Um, I'll buy what I can when I can, all right? So bear with me if I don't have money up front at the point in time you get in contact with me. Uh, yeah, my two Bluetooth speakers, which are both dead, are out here. I listen to my radio on my phone, so when I'm recording, it's not running. Unfortunately... That old Bachman's kind of noisy. That's the Burlington unit that you see running there. So, yes, my layout has a home. Has a rather nice home. Unfortunately, due to sunlight, I get a lot of shadowing effects in here. At night, I can actually get better video. Well, uh, have a good one. I'm going to get back to work on this for the day.